listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Thursday, July 4th, 2024. Happy Independence Day if you are listening in the United States. We are talking about the kerygma this month. We are talking about the third truth that Jesus died to save us from sin. Before we get to that, though, I'd like you to wish you a very happy feast day. Today is the feast day of prayer, Giorgio Fossati. He is blessed technically right now, but his canonization has been scheduled. If you haven't heard this, he will be canonized about a year from now during the Jubilee year of 2025. He was called by Pope St. John Paul II, the man of the Beatitudes, and he died when he was only 24 years old. Pier Giorgio Fossati, he lived 100 years ago in Italy in the town of Turin, mostly. He was very athletic, loved outdoor activities like climbing and skiing. He was a good student. He had decided to be an engineer so that he could help people. He also did so many secret acts of charity. He would oftentimes give away the money he had to ride the bus so that other people could buy food and then he would have to walk. He just tried to help as many people as possible. Unfortunately, he contracted polio when he was 24 years old and died very quickly. His parents, who had a very hard marriage and were also not very interested in the faith, they were astounded when at his funeral, hundreds of people showed up and told them about the incredible secret acts of charity that this young man had done for them. And in the years to come, their marriage was renewed and they both fell in love with Jesus and the Catholic Church. And like I said, Pier Giorgio Fossati, he has another miracle attributed to him, and he will be a full-blown saint very soon. Now, if you'll please join me in our July prayer, Anima Christi, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, embolden me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Never permit me to be parted from you. From the evil enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you for age upon age. Amen. So we have been talking about the fact that Jesus died and rose from the dead to save us from sin and death. Talked about that this is a historical fact, that this is a powerful demonstration of love, and that through this, Jesus came to rescue us. Now, I want to talk about the three, the three th- reasons why Jesus died on the cross. Okay. These are kind of the cliff notes so that you can remember every time you look at a crucifix. Number one, Jesus came as a human being. He accepted suffering and death on a cross to show us how to love, to remind us that love requires sacrifice and that love is a gift of self. Number two, Jesus died on the cross He became sin. He nailed that sin to the cross and he therefore paid the ransom price for all of us. Something I reflect on often is the agony in the garden. Jesus is in anguish in the garden. He is sweating blood. He is asking his disciples to stay up and pray with him when at other places in the gospel, he's happy to go and pray by himself. He is in agony. And one of those reasons, of course, is because he knows everything that will happen. He knows the physical pain coming. He knows that he will be abandoned and ridiculed and condemned. 
But scholars, biblical scholars, have often said that it's also because he is experiencing all of the consequences of sin for all of humanity. And we know that sin causes pain, sin destroys, sin rips us apart. And Jesus became sin. St. Paul tells us this. He became sin. So he took all of those consequences on himself to save us. This is a huge part of his suffering, a part that we don't necessarily see when we look at a crucifix, but we read about when we read the gospel accounts of the agony in the garden. Now, the third reason why Jesus died on the cross is because he was at war. He makes it clear that his enemy is not the Jewish, you know, the high priest. That's not his enemy. His enemy is also not the Romans. His enemy is Satan, is sin, is death. He is there to do battle with them. And it might look at the moment that Jesus dies on the cross that he loses, but we know that he doesn't. That when he dies and the creed tells us he descends into hell, that he destroys the power of sin and death for those that will accept him and accept his love. That he became sin to destroy sin. That he accepted death to destroy death. So the three reasons why Jesus dies on the cross to show us how to love, to take on the burden of sin and destroy it, and also to do war with the enemy. So remember those three reasons once again today as you pray Jesus' most sacred name three times. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. We are kicking off a new month, which means we are having our most popular event in the clubhouse this week, our Pray and Play event this Friday. Come join us for some learning, some prayer, and of course, some fun. We're going to be playing a game for real prizes that I will really put in the mail and ship out to you. All Clubhouse members check inside the Clubhouse to find times and links. If you are not part of the Clubhouse, I sincerely invite you to join us. It is a beautiful Catholic place for kids who just want to have fun being Catholic. And you know what? I have a ton of fun being Catholic in there with you. I can't wait to see you. For links to join the clubhouse, just check the notes for this podcast episode. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.